Hi everyone, I am going to go through part two of the astronomy notes with you in this video, which is all about universe formation. So the theory that our universe or of how our universe formed is called the Big Bang Theory. You might have heard of it, you might have seen the TV show. It is the most common or most accepted theory today of how our universe came to be. So it states that our universe began as something called a singularity. Remember, our universe is the collection of all matter. So I'm going to go through with you what I mean by a singularity on my whiteboard here. So we've talked about density already this year and the formula for density. The formula for density is mass divided by volume. So a zone of infinite density is what a singularity is. So basically what it is, is we take all the matter, all mass in the universe, which is a lot, it's a very big number, and we put it into a tiny, tiny, tiny space, a tiny volume. So a singularity is all matter in the universe condensed into one single point. So when you take a really big number and you divide it into a very, very small number, you get something that's close to infinity. So that's the symbol for infinity there. So a zone of infinite density is what a singularity is. It's kind of hard to uh, conceptualize um, in our own minds. It's almost beyond what the human mind can, can think about. So this singularity existed about 14 billion years ago, or about 13.7 billion years ago. And if you think about yourself, if you are crammed in a room with tons of other people, and you're shoulder to shoulder, pre-COVID times, maybe you're at a concert, that, that you'd feel a little uncomfortable. Temperature would be really high, pressure would be high, and you just want to get away. So that's kind of what happened when we have this zone of infinite density. Pressure and temperature were really high, and it led to everything moving away from everything. So we call that the expansion of the universe. That's still happening today, and it's actually accelerating. The rate of expansion of our universe today is getting faster and faster. So the two forces that are acting on our universe now are the momentum that's left over from that original expansion. So it's causing everything to move away from everything else. And then also gravity. Gravity always wants to draw things back together. Anything with mass, two objects of mass have a gravitational pull towards each other. So we have gravity trying to bring everything back together. Since our universe is expanding right now, number one on there, the first force is the stronger force. Okay, when we talk about what our universe could do in the future, there's three outcomes, depending on which of those two forces we just talked about are stronger. So the an open universe would be if our universe just kept expanding forever, infinitely. And that's what's kind of what's showing right now. Um, a closed universe is when expansion stops and the universe would gravity would take over and the universe would begin to contract or come close together, come back in on itself. And then a flat universe would be the universe stops expanding. It doesn't keep expanding faster and faster, but it just um, expands at a steady rate. So this is um, those three options shown in graph form. So an open universe would be expansion uh, continuing over time. And a closed universe, you see how we hit a point of maximum expansion, and then everything begins to close back in on itself. That's called the big crunch theory. Um, that could lead to another big bang because you've pushed everything back together and increased temperature and pressure again. It could lead to another expansion. All right, and the last slide for today is what the universe is made up of. So if you look down here, the composition of the universe, that means what the universe is made of. Um, dark energy makes up 75% of our universe. There's not a lot known about what this dark energy is. It's whatever it is, is causing expansion of the universe, causing galaxies to move away from each other. Everything in the universe is moving away from everything else. 
We're going to do a lab later on this week to show that. 21% of the universe is made up of dark matter. Again, it has the word dark in front of it. And that means there's kind of, there's not a lot known about what these things are, dark energy and dark matter. Dark matter is some kind of subatomic particle, not protons, neutrons, or electrons. There's something else out there that makes up what we call dark matter. And then luminous matter, which is the stuff that we know about, that would be planets, moons, galaxies, solar systems, comets, asteroids, that only makes up 4% of our universe. So that's it for notes. I'm going to have you, once this video ends, you're going to watch this recap video. It's Stephen Hawking explaining the Big Bang Theory, and it'll provide some, I think, good visuals. So it'll recap what I just talked about along with some visuals to help try to picture these concepts. Okay, and that is it.